Thank you, Colorado. Awake. Can I talk to you guys for a second? My whole life, ever since I was like 14, 15 years old, I never had any moderation with drugs and alcohol. And I wanted to get sober because I was never the type of person that could drink and smoke and be creative. It was either one or the other. I would smoke weed, I would sit in front of the TV on the couch, I'd play video games and jack off and take a nap and shit. Which is cool. Video games and jacking off and naps are awesome. Don't get me wrong. Yes, they are. But I knew that if I wanted to be successful at a music career, I was gonna have to get sober, and I finally did for the first time in my life in 2008. Ryan and I, shortly after that, we made the Versus EP. And for the first time in my life, I got to travel around the country and perform the music that we had made together. Everything was going really, really, really well. And last year we had a tour. I think it ended up in Colorado, actually. The last show was in Colorado here. I got home, and it's really weird when you're on the road for a long time and you're in front of all these people. Like, every single night that we do a show, all these people come out and get, you guys give us so much love, you know what I'm saying? Like, you give us 100% of your energy whenever we come and perform here and all over the country. And you get used to being in front of all these people that are showing you attention and love, and you get home, and you sit on your couch and you're like, Man, I feel really, really strange right now. I'm alone. I'm not in front of all our fan base and it feels weird. And I just want, I got home and I got in my head and I wanted to escape my thoughts. You guys ever feel like that? Like you just want to get out of your own head and you don't know how to do it? And the easiest way to do it, the easiest way is to go and get fucked up, right? Like that's like the immediate way is to get out of your head. And for so long, I was just, I, I wanted to escape. And it's a lot harder to deal with that escape when you're sober. And I ended up making a bad rationalization. I ended up relapsing and losing three and a half years of continuous sobriety. And when I did this, I had no idea what to do. I had had this certain identity around being this MC that was sober. And I wrote this song called Other Side that hundreds of people, thousands of people said that they connected with and helped them get sober. And I felt like, I felt like I had let everybody down. I felt like I had let all of you guys down. My fan base, that was the first thing that I thought about was the people that aren't gonna believe me anymore. Like who is this person that writes a song about getting clean and then goes out and relapses on the same shit that he wrote the song about. I didn't tell Ryan, I didn't tell my parents, I didn't tell my girlfriend, I didn't tell my manager, I didn't tell anybody. And it was a really dark time, we were supposed to be working on the heist. And I went into the studio and Ryan was making a beat. And when he left, I went in. And my only therapy, the only way that it's ever worked for me to get shit off of my chest is to put it into music. And I wrote this song right here, it's called Starting Over. Let's go. so public there's no fucking privacy if i don't talk about it then i can't really take a zero eight ten oh eight and that was been changed and every when they put me in some box the same but i never was just the best profit that never came of what they think that everything that i've written has all been fake and when i just think my slip to the grave what the fuck are my parents gonna say? The success story got his life together and changed. If you know, 
what pain looks like when you tell your dad you relapsed and look him directly into his face. The seat on your shoulders is seemingly heavy weight. I've been seeing tears like this on my girl in a while and trust me I once built to be betrayed. They telling the truth to be judged for my mistakes Mostly held up, cops loved and praised I guess I gotta get this on the page I feel it, sick and helpless Lost the compass where self is I know what I gotta do, and I can't help it One day at a time is what they tell us Now I gotta find a way to tell them Starting over. If I could be an example of getting sober, then I could be an example of starting over.